What's up guys, my name is Brandon and Apple just released iOS 10.1.1 today, exactly one week after the release of iOS 10.1. So in this video, we're gonna be discussing what's new and also an update on the long awaited iOS 10 jailbreak. Now before we get into this, I have something very important for those of you looking to jailbreak. So with this update, Apple stopped signing iOS 10.0.2 and also 10.0.3. So if you're on one of these two firmwares, do not update to iOS 10.1 or the newest 10.1.1. Now this is just precautionary because a jailbreak could come out where it only works for iOS 10 all the way through to 10.0.3 and not 10.1. So this is unlikely, but it's better safe than sorry. So I would definitely stay on iOS 10.0.2 or 10.0.3 or just iOS 10 if you are on it right now. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to what's new in iOS 10.1.1. So iOS 10.1.1 comes in at just 64 megabytes for me at least on the iPhone 7 Plus running on iOS 10.1 non-beta, but of course it may be a little bit different. The size may vary depending on your device and the current firmware that you are on. So looking at the change log, iOS 10.1.1 is said to fix a bug related to the health application. So some users were apparently experiencing the health application not viewing their data, but since I'm not healthy, I've never used the health application, I would have no clue and I wouldn't be able to tell you the difference in this update. Now I did also gain some space from the iOS 10.1.1 update so taking a look at this screenshot from when I was on 10.1 just before this update I had 224.14 gigs available and if we go to our about right now on 10.1.1 you can see that I have 224.3 available and I also took a screenshot of the storage space that the health application takes up on 10.1 so as you can see it takes up 881 kilobytes on 10.1 if we go into our settings and look at the storage on 10.1.1, you can see that the health application takes up just 770 kilobytes. So nothing major, but I did just wanna point that out since this update does kinda of lack features and bugs and anything really substantial. So in other words, this update is very minor and it's not gonna to matter to 99% of my viewers. So anyways, now on to the important part and the, probably the reason why you're here, the iOS 10 jailbreak. So as I mentioned at the beginning, Apple stopped signing iOS 10.0.2 and 10.0.3, so if you're on one of these firmwares do not update to iOS 10.1 or 10.1.1. So now, does this update hinder the release date for the iOS 10 jailbreak? I highly doubt it. So this wasn't a security update and I didn't see any developers mention anything about security with this update, so I can't imagine it would change anything. Now a lot of people are still asking me about the iOS 10 jailbreak on a daily basis and I'll tell you guys what I always say wait until mid-November passes before asking me about a release date. So if you guys recall, in my iOS 10 jailbreak update videos a few weeks back, I said that we can expect a jailbreak to come sometime in late October to mid-November. Now this was only an educated guess as Pengu will not reveal a release date or even hint at a jailbreak release, but it's a guess, a really smart guess based on their past jailbreak schedule for iOS 8 and iOS 9. And since Pengu was likely waiting for iOS 10.1 to drop before releasing a jailbreak, it's only been a week since that firmware was released. So I think we just need to be patient and just wait. And as usual, I will be constantly updating you guys on the iOS 10 jailbreak, both on this channel and also on Twitter. So make sure you follow me on Twitter because I post stuff on there a lot quicker. So those links are down below in the description. So there you have it guys, that is just an update on the new iOS 10.1.1 firmware and also an update on the iOS 10 jailbreak. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're looking forward to the iOS 10 jailbreak and also make sure to subscribe if you're not already to be the first to know when the jailbreak is released. So thank you guys so much again for watching and I'll see you soon.